Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. In this video I will show you how to make this simple circuit to alternate two sets of LEDs and have this police lights effect. In order to build the circuit you only need two 555 timers, three resistors, a couple of capacitors and of course the LEDs. Here we have the circuit, the two 555 timers and here we have our LEDs, the four LEDs up are one color and the other four are another color that you want. And the way in which it works is that each of the timers produce an output which is a square wave, it's a train of pulses, square pulses. Therefore, when this is on, the current passes through the four dials here and then to the other timer. And when this is off, the current goes in the opposite way through the other set of LEDs. But Notice that we have different capacitances. The capacitance is what controls the rate of flashing or the frequency. A high capacity, like in this case, produces a long pulse and a small capacitance produces a very short pulse. So the first, the first timer gives the alternance between one color and the other and the second one produces the fast rate of pulses. So let's now see the circuit in action. Next time you need a PCB for your electronics project, consider using the professional services of JLC PCB. JLC PCB is the world leader in PCB fabrication. You can order online. You just need to register, upload your Gerber file, and wait a few days for your PCBs at an unbeatable price. Okay, let me turn on the power supply. I am using 9 volts for the circuit. And there you can see how it is alternating between one color and the other, but also the LEDs are flashing at a high frequency and of course uh, the frequency is controlled by these two capacitors let me turn it off and change both capacitors this one which is 3.3 .3 nanofarads I'm going to change with uh, one microfarad capacitor and the other one 0.1 microfarads I will change it for a uh, 0 0.033 microfarads and let's see the difference it is now flashing at a higher rate and you can play with the capacitor values until you have the frequency and the effect that you prefer Okay, that's all for today. A very simple circuit. Hope you liked the video. Thanks for visiting my channel and see you in the next one.